hats off to Joe Exotic, who married two straight guys, who married two straight guys. The big, like, unifying factor for everybody who owns tigers is that they basically get to have the type of sex that they want. Joe, over here in Oklahoma, figured out that if you get meth and Walmart meat, that you can get any hot guy to blow you. And that's pretty cool. I mean, that's what we're all out here doing anyway. That pretty much is the basis of capitalism, the accumulation of things that you need to get laid. If you don't need those things to get laid, then good for you, man. You can like live in a tent and that's who you are. You're just hot guy living in a tent. But the rest of us, you know, we got to buy cars and have houses and jobs and jean jackets and tigers. And that's how we get people to fall in love with us is that they can hang out with our tigers. I'll be honest, I, if if I was in a room with a dude and a bunch of tigers, I might be confused for a little bit. Like if he took his shirt off and we were just playing with the tigers rolling around, I might not really be sure what's going on. I know for sure that if I was in a room full of tigers and women, I would be turned on. So I don't know what happens if I'm in a room full of tigers, powerful beasts wielded by this man. And if I, if on top of that, I had a meth problem, you could pretty much buy me right now with a ribeye and some sweet potatoes. And that's me as like a well-adjusted individual. If you do drugs, you will suck a dick for those drugs and that plays itself out in a very real way in the tiger king documentary if you're a meth head if you gotta like jerk off onto joe exotic every once in a while but you get to play with tigers and live for free and get free meth that seems like a fair deal you know i think i've been in relationships that have less benefits than that and that doesn't seem that far-fetched. Something about having a tiger is enough for all the sexes.